Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the unit that is used to measure something varies according to what it is that we are measuring. Time is measured in hours and minutes and seconds. Distances are measured in meters, kilometers, miles. Fluids are measured in pints and gallons and liters. What about man? How will we be measured in front of Allah, the creator of man and woman? We also have a unit of measure. And the Quran speaks about that unit of measure. How will my worth, your worth, be assessed before Allah, Jalla Jalaluh? Here is an indicator taken from the Quran. Allah says, Inna nahnu nuhyi al-mawta wa naktubu ma qaddamu wa atharahum. We are the ones who resurrect the dead after they have died and give them life. And we are the ones who write down everything that they had put forward and what they had left behind. We are the ones who write down everything that they had put forward and all of that which they had left behind from good deeds, from sins. We write down atharahum, we write down their traces. This is the unit of measure. Allahu Akbar. And therefore we realize that Yawm Al-Qiyamah, our assessment will not be according to appearances or backgrounds or languages or the number of certificates that plaster the walls of our homes, not even the number of years that we lived. That will not be the entire unit of measure. Why? Because there may be a person who lived years upon years, years on end, 80 years, maybe a hundred years. But when he dies, he meets Allah Jalla Jalaluhu or she meets Allah Jalla Jalaluhu with a count of zero. Rather, this person may be in the minus, below the zero because of the sins that they had left behind. And there are others, may Allah make us amongst them, who perhaps may have lived shorter lives than others, maybe 20 years only maybe 30, 40 years only. But when they die, their good deeds continue to grow. And it is as if they had lived thousands of years because of the traces that they had left behind. An example is Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh radiallahu anhu, who embraced Islam at the age of 30 years old and would die six years later at the young age of 36 but when he died, the throne of Allah would shake. 36 years old? Therefore, brothers and sisters, it is essential for one of us today to think about what it is that he or she is going to leave behind. What is that source of income that's going to give us a continual stream of good deeds when we are wedged in that hole called the grave six feet under? Some people, they die, and that is the end of their remembrance. And some people, they die, and their death means nothing to their negative because we continually remember them till this very day of ours. Which person will be you, dear brothers and sisters in Islam? To get more updates from our media, subscribe to our channel, click the like and bell buttons, as we should go a long way to support us.